In North Carolina, as many as 1 in 57 children may have autism. As the number of people with autism continues to increase, it's critical that children and adults with autism and first responders know how to have safe interactions. They can look at your dog. Yeah. Cash's autism physically doesn't have a lot of manifestations. He doesn't look autistic. It's, it becomes very obvious when he opens his mouth, um, you know, his speech delay. Would it be okay if I just hung out here and pet her for a while? Yeah, sure. His, sort of his ability to put together words and sentences. How you doing? Good. Hi, right, what's your name? Yeah. Okay. Individuals with autism don't always understand social situations and danger and may have challenges communicating. Not all police officers, firefighters, or EMS personnel understand autism. The Autism Society of North Carolina is working to change this. In regards to my daughter, who's on the autism spectrum. For the last 20 years being in law enforcement, I'm ashamed. I never took into consideration one single time on any traffic stop, any interaction, when I was determining probable cause. Never once considered that anybody was on the autism spectrum when I was speaking to them out in the real world. Working with members of our IGNITE program for young adults with autism and concerned first responders, we develop tools to help everyone stay safe. At IGNITE, law enforcement members provided guidance so young adults with autism could better understand the first responder perspective. The officers empowered the adult members to better communicate their needs and diagnosis. Come on out to the back of the car. IGNITE members participated in a two-month course on safety. They role-played different scenarios to determine how they and first responders could better understand each other. Sir, do you have any uh, drugs in here? They shared what they learned and practiced how to stay safe in stressful situations. When dealing with somebody who's autistic, we have to keep in mind that it, you know, too much stimuli it could really not help the situation when you're, as a first responder, you're trying to uh, form that partnership between yourself and, and that, uh, the client you're trying to deal with. Go ahead. Ignite members and law enforcement help the Autism Society of North Carolina produce a 15-minute video that is available for free on our website. New materials were created to give adults with autism and families information to share with first responders. These materials can be downloaded from the web or mailed for free. One of the best things a family can do uh, in dealing with encounters with police is teach your, your loved one how to present the autism card to the officer. I think it clarifies a lot and be able to help them better uh, to understand what's going on. Now, First responders, autism self-advocates, and families have tools they can use to educate their communities. Helping keep individuals with autism safe now and in the future. Being able to spot this is a person who just needs to be treated a little more carefully, be de-escalated, whether that's the job of the individual officer or whether there's a person who they can contact on the police force or in the fire department or with the paramedics who is trained on how to deal with this, who can come and help try and de-escalate someone, I think at the end of the day would save a lot of lives. To learn more about how to keep yourself and your loved ones safe, please visit our website. <laughs>